Hello, and welcome to the Matniverse. Today we're going to further explore detention. I did do a video on this, but while uploading it, I must have gotten rid of the file. Stupid of me. But it didn't finish, so I got back to the part where I stopped before so I could redo it again. So, let's continue. The first thing I do remember I need is the token for the door and the feathered fan for the door. So, to get the token, I need to go get those uh, incense sticks that I did not grab before when I first did this. So, I'll quickly go get those. Because you need to plant them on the lowest floor, and then the cage will open for the token. So, it was in this room over here. Grab these. An unmarked grave embedded in the middle of the room. Hmm. Shouldn't be anything buried underneath. There are three unlit incense sticks here. Take the incense. Alright. Yeah, look at that. The grave of Wai Chong Ting. Oh, right. Wei He already. Is that legacy of the deceased always just a mere rock? That was quick to bury after we slit his throat in the last episode. But, right now we should, there they are, see our new enemy. So look away, wait till they get close. And hold your breath. Very simple enemy, not too much to deal with here. And you just wait till them to disappear. Like that. Alright. So now we will hurry up and go get all this. Go down to the bottom floor, go get those tokens. Not uh, the token, I guess. For the door. So I need to plant the incense right here. Um, I'll grab them there. Okay. I'll do as mom does with incense in hand, ignoring the kinds of prayers she'd prefer. I ask the gods only for a way to live as myself. <coughs> what was that sound? And that was the door for the token. So now I just need the fan. The prison gate is open. The wooden token on the statue's back is loose. So you gotta go in here, since we did get that spirit paper already. I need to go put those in, put the spirit paper in here and burn it. Oh, oh, worthy spirits, I offer this spirit money to ask for your protection. That just nicely flops in there. The fire went out. The furnace suddenly gone cold. Is something in there? How can this be? It should have been reduced to ashes if it was inside. Which is very true, but we got the feathered fan. And then those things start acting up. Which I did not know that before, and I actually did die. The first time, because you're supposed to do the same thing you do with everything else. Hold your breath and walk through. I didn't really think of that. So... That contributed to one of my deaths that I've never had before. And we are through. Alright. So now that we have both the items, we can go on that door with the two statues on it. Which is over here. I don't know. 
know, but you might see another lantern guy. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so I put this stuff in here. So token on left, feather on right. Simple enough. The chill air drifts inward. And we are outside. The copper statue of the president, it can be seen from almost anywhere in the school. And when I first did this, I didn't think we were still in the school. It doesn't look like it, but I guess it makes sense. So, let's see. Okay, what's in here? The cabinet looks familiar. There's a key inside for the roof. I still do have the codes for this stuff because you need a code for the phone. And then further down, you have to play a piano, but I'll do it all again. I don't know if you can do it without doing the rest of the stuff, but I'll do the rest of it anyways. Come on. These things work really slow. Okay, see ya. Bye. Vanishes, and we're good to go. As creepy as they are with the long tongues, too, but they walk really slow. Alright, what's in here? Is this the one with the piano? Yeah, this is the one with the piano. So we need the puppet, but we gotta play the piano. But. You won't know how to play it yet, because you're missing something. So, got to go over here. Open this up. And there is a radio here. But we need a tape for it. Uh, I don't think there was anything else in here. The trees grown through the wall. There are leaves all over the room. Moss grows on the door and windows. Hmm. It's creepy. Continue onward. And we go outside. And we go out here. This is where things are kind of weird, because this is apparently a puppet show. So I need two puppets. And then what looks to be like Way sitting up here, but it might or might not be. I don't really know. But we're still missing some pieces of stuff, so we'll go here. There's something stuck inside the tree. Which is the 8-track tape we needed for that, what looked to be like a radio. So, now we just go back. And then someone decides to be nice and gracious and turn off the lights for us. So I have to go turn those on. So it's right here. style of these things though. They're actually pretty cool. They look like paper in a way. Very nice. And disappear. Okay. So it should be this way. Open this up. Go here and we insert the tape. Here's some weird interesting things here. No idea what the heck they're saying. But this is what we need. A 
because that is the melody for the piano to unlock the pop up. This thing took me quite a while to figure out. Not that good at figuring this stuff out, because the sad part is you can't hear it in here. Don't know why. Um, but let me see here. So. There's everybody to applaud me. Thank you, thank you. And the puppet. The cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. Take it out. That's just weird. Hand inside of a cage with a puppet on it. Nothing strange about that. So now we need to go to the roof, so... See you guys up there. Alright. So now we gotta use the key on the roof. And we'll go up. And there goes somebody. I didn't see that before. I was wondering why I couldn't run. But then you see something really creepy, and there she goes. I don't know why you would do that. Really weird. I don't, I don't get it. It's a really big mystery. But I will see you guys back at that uh, player room. Hmm. Alright. So now I put the tape on this tape player. So I wonder what's contained in this film. And now I have to go to the room to play it. Go this way. And right in here. And right here, on the little projector, shows the code for the phone. So... Got 025... One, two, and a one. So, now with that, I will see you at the phone. Okay, and here we are. So, I'll do a quick plug in of the numbers here. So, zero. Oh, right, right. Gotta pick up the receiver first. Now I can dial out. So, zero, two, five, one, two, one. Miss Fang, your country appreciates your assistance. In what? I have no idea. But thank you. What's left is only the dial tone. And here's this creepy, lot of armed, whatever the heck. Maybe it's only two arms, but I don't know what the heck it is. But he tries to get in. He wants him pretty bad. And like that, he's gone. Where he went, I have no idea. So, let's go out here. But he left us a nice present. Another puppet. So now let's go put that on the puppet show. Got nice little eyeballs. Very nice and creepy. So pretty much it's just put the puppets on the hands and there you go. So police puppet goes over here and this guy goes over here. Brutal. A key fell out of the puppet's body. Basement key. Because apparently there was a door that was locked, and I was half expecting people to come out here, like pop up like they did at the piano, but they don't. Yeah. 
So now I go over here, after unlocking this door, to get back to where we were. And we just run clear across because I forgot when I first did this that there was a locked door all the way at the end of the hall. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. But we know it now, so. Put the key in here. Door's been unlocked. And to the next area we go. Way, thanks for doing this for me. Not at all. I've always wanted to help if you ask. Though I'm sorry to have to drag you all the way here to my classroom. It's okay. My classroom has individual studies now. It'd be a bother if we were there. You're sure nobody else knows about these meetings, right? Of course, miss. Absolutely not. One thing, though. The book list is quite sensitive in material. Please be careful with it. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I know reading these books can be trouble, but if it should be our freedom to pursue knowledge, right? Yes, I'm with you on that. In fact, I think Miss Yin also said something like that before. I think you're just like her. You're both courageous and talented. You think we're alike? I can't compare it to her anyways. She's the principal's daughter, and they're known to be a family of successful scholars. It's okay. I believe she thinks highly of you. I remember she gave your work a nice compliment once. She said, strengthen thy wings, the sky's the limit. She really said something like that? Hmm. Hey, let me ask you a question. I see Miss Yen and Mr. Chang chat a lot. Do you maybe know what kind of relationship they have? And that's it of that. Don't really know what book he was talking about either. A paper bag left by behind by way. Book club reading list. I've been weak, but you know but you once told me the pen is mightier than the gun. Don't know why he had a gun either, but maybe this is just part of her mind. Whatever the hell's going on. I don't know. So now we go into this room. And it's filled with a lot of mirrors. Hmm. Not so sure about this paper bag thing right here. Miss Yen? What are you doing over here? As a teacher, I always show concern for students who are a little rebellious. Remember what you did? What? Have you forgotten, or do you want, want to remember? You... Just a harmless piece of paper, right? Instead, I had to die, he had to die, and many other students had to die. Was it you? You just keep causing me trouble, you're driving me crazy. Sometimes when you trip up, you're never able to get back up again. How dare you? This is all because of you. You ruined everything. If you had a problem, why couldn't you just have come talk to me instead? Shut up. If you were gone, nothing... None of this would have happened, I don't know. That's a little too quick. Great. Then she just disappears. If you weren't there, all would be okay. I click that too. Whoops. And then whatever the heck's going on here. A lot of mist. And then it seems like we're outside again. In front of a temple. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy. Justice Chen Hong. Mom likes to bring all her worries and concerns to you. Something I think it's fruitless. But... Sometimes there's no one else to look to help for help. 
my hands together in silent prayer, here are my questions. I, Fang Rei Shin, invoke your guidance. Ask about love. Will I be able to live a simple life with loved ones and family? Yin Po, the crying answer. Do not seek what cannot be. Uh, this was just a humble request. You can be so cruel. Then I also ask, prospects. Will I be able to live life by my choices and follow my heart down my own path? Yang Po, the laughing answer. So, I can only face reality obediently and wait until God knows when. Do I have any other choice? I also go ask about family. Will my parents who quarrel and fight have a second chance together? Yang Po, the laughing answer. You cannot cry over spilt milk, is that so? But that was my family, my mom, and that person. We used to smile and laugh together. Do I ask for too much? Is life just a never-ending bitterness? Or is it all just me? Divine answer. So, it is all because of me. Hmm. And fade out. So apparently she cannot find love. Youth is hardly ever given a choice. Pushed through the grind until their innocence fades away. I become a wooden horse on the carousel of life. A jumbled mess of lifeless emotion. Infused with frantic energy, I spin ever faster. And it seems like her parents never can fix what happened to them either. It's really sad what's going on, but also mysterious of why this is happening. What the heck is that sound? Ah, oh, it's whispering. Alright. An old door. The door is locked. And this radio. A radio? Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit. If I could just figure out how to use this. There we go. The atmosphere in the room's changed. That was pretty cool, though. The radio that apparently teleports you places. So now we're back in her old room. A ceramic piggy bank. Big round eyes waiting to be fed. It's a cute looking piggy bank, though. Hmm. Never been much for piggy banks, but... It's cute looking. So this is pretty much where I ended off before. After this one room, but... Got a little time, so let's see what else we can find. What's this? Whoa. Now we're on the ceiling. Weird. Aw, oh, the piggy bank smashed. Ceramic piggy bank, broken up from one's desires. Well, that sucks. Man. I like that piggy bank. Let's see if we can turn it to something else here. Nothing. That's weird. It's the same room? Yeah. What? Hmm. And then it's fixed. Oh, there's a door. That probably would have been work. Someone's home. Oh, great. Oh, man. Crying mother staring at me, apparently. Dad. I don't like that. I feel like mom's always been a traditional housewife. She doesn't complain even when wronged. I really don't like that. Mm. What do you got to say? Back then, besides the New Year's, dads never drank at home. 
I miss the days when he had jokes and stories to tell. Hmm. There's no way to get into the past anymore. So what's in here? Um, why are they flipped different directions? What's this? A glass cup and a glass juice cup. Okay. Whoa. Don't like that red eyes. That was weird. Pictures of mom, dad, and I. The eyes have been rubbed off. So we flip these? Yeah, I know. I just said that. Apparently I can only do something about his. But they won't move either. She just says the same thing. So, what the hell? Flick the switch? Um, okay. Okay. That's just not right. What's this supposed to mean? Uh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> She's crying blood, apparently. Those look like clock times. It just looks like a short hand and a long hand. Hmm. It glows with a dull melancholy. Filled glass cup. Okay, turn the lights back on. Don't like that. That was creepy. The door is locked. A strange quote on the door. Meet the right person at the right time. Hmm. So those, I think those were something about the clock. And they're gone. And there's something here. I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> While all that happens. Alrighty then. Anybody here? Alright. Oh, okay, I was about to say she stopped, but that was me. Anything different with the room? Nope. Do I fill the piggy bank with the juice? That's all I've got. <laughs> yeah, of course it doesn't. Hmm. Okay. So. I don't really get what the heck the point of this is either. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. And now we're back. Alright, well. I think that'll do it for this episode. That one was pretty interesting. It. Um. Sorry for that file going away. It was supposed to be uploaded about two days ago. But shit does happen, so it was easier to get through it again since I memorized pretty much all of it. It hadn't been that long. But I did see a few new things. That whole going into the living room and the back room was definitely new. Definitely creepy. And then whatever the heck was throwing around the glasses, but find out what we gotta do in the next episode so thank you guys for joining me on this adventure and i'll see you guys for the next adventure bye <laughs>